Hey you guys, I need to create a nickname for you guys because I'm sick of saying hey you guys. But we will be creating this look in this video today. I really like this look. I love how blush it is. I love the lip color. I love the pop-up color with the wing liner and the waterline. Like it's so good. So if you want to see what products to use, what I think about these products and how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so for brows, I used the Joa Precision Brow Pencil. This is the shade Ebony. I really like this pencil. It was so easy to do my brows and it's really good and it's drugstore. So definitely check it out. Okay, so we're going to my holy grail, of course, the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. This is very pigmented and it doesn't dry down matte because I do have dry eyelids. So I really appreciate this. I'm going to go and blend it out with the Real Technique sponge. You can get it at CVS or Target. No, CVS or Ulta for $3.49, I believe. Okay, so the palette we're going to be using today is from LA Girl. This was about $15 at Ulta and these colors are so beautiful. We're going to be going in with shade Savvy. This is the LA Girl Pro Artistry palette. The colors in here are stunning. I have another one as well. It's called Hot Hot Heat. But the colors in here are stunning and these shadows blend out so well. I'm taking the Sigma E40, I believe. I'll list all of the brushes down below and on the screen. Yes, I really love these palettes. These palettes are $15, like I said, at Ulta. And you can also get them at CVS, I believe. And I was just shook. We're gonna go in with the shade Brilliance and deepen the crease a little bit. Savvy was our transition shade and now we're going with Brilliance to deepen up the crease so we can have that dimension because you all know I'm all about dimension. And then we're gonna go in with Sleek, which is this, it's like, it's it's black, but it's not like, you know, a black that's like too intense. You can definitely build this black up to be nice and pigmented, but I love that it is buildable. It's not like, oh, you got a whole black stripe on your face whenever you apply it. I don't like black like that. So we're just applying it very, very subtly to the outer corner and crease. And we're just gonna build it up because you can always add, you can't really take away. And I use circular motions to be able to blend out correctly. Then we're going, gonna go in with finesse and just blend out that black. We're gonna make it nice and seamless. I know we're using a lot of colors in the crease, but you guys, if you if you take your time with building up color and blending, you'll be so satisfied at the end of the day. Trust me. And now I'm taking the Yes to deep cleansing charcoal wipes and just cleaning up that line. And we're going to go in with my favorite eyeshadow base again, and we're going to cut the crease. Um, I'll list the brush down below if I can find it. I know some of the brushes I use from Morphe are discontinued, but this eyeshadow base really helps me cut my crease. Like it's so, it's not too fluidy where it goes everywhere, but it's not too creamy where I have to tug on my eye. It's like the perfect balance of both and it doesn't dry down matte. So the shadow that I put on top of it really sticks. And now we're going to go in with this shade Zeal. And I did have to like, you know, kind of just demonstrate how I put it on because I wasn't feeling. So I put Zeal in my inner corner, inner third of my lid. And now we're taking the shade Vir Virtuoso. I think that's how that, I can't pronounce that, but I think that's what it is. But um, I did take that and put that on the other third of my lid and I left in a corner blank and I perfected that line up top. And I did use a damp brush for these shadows. And now we're gonna take Brilliance again and we're going to blend it into that champagne shade that we popped on because we want that blend gradient from shimmer to matte. 
For liquid liner today, I used the NYX Vivid Brights. Of course, I love these things. Uh, this is the shade Vivid Escape, and I absolutely love these. They don't crack on me like the white one does. I know a lot of people ask me that. They do not crack on me. Don't layer them twice because they will crack if you put too much on, but just one layer is good because they're nice and opaque, and they're very, very matte. Okay, and for Lash Review, the Nicole Guerrero Eyelore Lashes, and I really love these. They're very easy to apply. For primer, we're using All A Blur Stick from Makeup Obsession. Okay, I really do love this primer. My problem is the packaging. That whole stick ain't filled with product. I am on the PR list, but we're gonna keep it real. They could have made this stick much smaller and put the product where it actually winds up, but you can see it instantly mattifies my skin and blurs everything. So it's really, really, really nice. I really do recommend this primer. For foundation in this video, we are using the Peach Perfect Too Faced Foundation. We're using Beauty Blender to blend it out. This is shade Natural Beige, I believe. I really love this foundation. It's one of my favorites and I can never get enough of it. I'm gonna need a another one soon. It's the most comfortable matte formula. Like it's not matte, it's more like a demi matte. It matches me perfectly. And I just, I really love this foundation. I feel like it's really underrated, honestly. And for concealer, we're using the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealers. This is shade Maple that I'm using to like bronze my skin. And then I actually used Warm Beige in the foundation and this is Natural Beige. So I really love this found this concealer multi-use thing. Sometimes I just use this as foundation and contour and hi highlight my face and it's like perfect. And it's really, really full coverage. So you don't need as much as I put on, but I really wanted to just, you know, do something extra and glam for today. But it blends out really nicely. It doesn't dry down too awful quickly. You do have some play time with it and they are, I believe, $29 each. But I really, really, I really like this and I don't know why I don't use these like as much as I used to. For setting our face today, we are using the ben Benefit. <laughs> We're using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Setting Powder, and I did tap it on the back of my hand and make it all even so I don't have any buildup first, and then I put it on my face so it'd be all even and even layer. Um, I did kind of put a lot, but I was going for, you know, an Instagram vibe type of look, so something full coverage, something very airbrushed, something like that. And I feel like this powder, I think it's like $4.99, and I love this powder. I feel like it's super, super smooth and finely milled, and it's really, it's really a nice product. And of course, I'm not going to add any extra product, but I'm going to use these two brushes and just add whatever's left on the brush onto my lower lash line. Okay, you guys, so this is the Shockwave Eyeliners from LA Girl, and I love these. Like, I am so obsessed. I need every color. I picked up two from CVS. I need the rest of them ASAP. This is the color, I believe, Escape or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll link it down below. I'm in my room, so I don't feel like walking over there and looking, but I did pop this in my waterline. For some mascara, I am using the On Demand Mascara from Rimmel. I did pop this on my lashes before I put on my falsies, so I'm gonna pop this on the lower lashes. Rimmel mascara is good, period. Like, I've never been disappointed by a Rimmel mascara, so definitely check out their mascaras. My favorite currently is the Luxe one. It's like a metallic pink tube. We're gonna take this Kevin, Aqu Kevin Aquan. I hope I'm saying that right. Kevin Aquan um, Neo Bronzer. This is a shade medium, and we're just going to warm up the skin a little bit more. I really like this bronzer. It's very, very pretty on medium skin. They have three different shades, I believe, and I'm just tapping on my nose for some extra dimension. I'm taking this Poppy Beauty Prismatic Highlighter. This is the shade Gilded Light. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. My neighbor's doing some construction at his house. But I really love these. These are so metallic and blinding. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. 
And then we're using the Kevin Aquan Neo blush in the shade Sunset. I really wanted something coral, peachy, you know, and this is like the perfect blush. This is my perfect everyday blush and I blushed up my nose very heavy on this look. Now we are going with this Velvet Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics, of course. You know how I love Kylie's Velvet Lip Formula. This is the shade Commando and I really thought that it tied in with the peaches, the peachy undertones in this look. And I really fell in love with the shade and this is the finished look, y'all. I really appreciate you coming by and seeing how I created this look. If you want more looks like these or you have any suggestions, please leave it down below and I will see you in my next video.